السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته حياكم الله في درب ملهم جديد من دروب نحن اليوم في مدينة اسمها تشواوا هنا في المكسيك في توتر بصراحة أول ما بدأنا لأن كانت الشرطة محاوطة في جميع أنحاء الفندق والسبب يعود لأن هناك مجموعات يعني متطرفة عندها بعض المتطلبات ومشاكل كثيرة وتحديات ضد الحكومة نتكلم هنا عن بلدية شواوا نفسها المدينة طبعا قريبة جدا من الحدود الأمريكية حوالي الأربع ساعات وبذلك هناك أيضا تحديات كبيرة من ناحية مواجهة طبعا الإرهاب الخاص المتعلق بالمخدرات وغيره عموما بشكل عام الأمور طيبة مع نانويل المرشد اللي راح إن شاء الله يأخذنا في هذا الدرب طبعا سبب تواجدنا في هذا المكان هو أن نتعرف أكثر على مجموعة المينونايتس لن أبالغ كثيرا إذا قلت بأنه هو فعلا حلم وقاعد يتحقق لأن هذه المجموعة هي من أكثر المجموعات اللي من إخواننا وأخواتنا أبناء آدم وحواء اللي عندهم يعني درجة الحياة كبيرة جدا ولا يتخالطوا مع الآخرين بسهولة حتى أن قليل ما نحصل على بعض المحتوى عنهم سواء كان على الإنترنت أو سواء كان عبر الجامعات أو البحوث ففرصة صراحة رائعة جدا وأشكى طبعا فريق العمل اللي قاعد يخاطر بحياة الآن من أجل إيصال كاميرا الدروب هنا في هذه المنطقة هنا تشواوا حياكم والله Tell us now about this place. But they, we are in the city of, of Cuauhtémoc. Si. And this city uh, is known as the city of the three cultures because there are three cultures living in the area. Mm -hmm. Taromara Indians, Mexicans, and Mennonites. The Mennonites, they don't live in the city. They live outside of the city. And they are the shyest. And they do have their own colonies. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the main activity of the Mennonites is uh, they do a cheese. Cheese? A lot of cheese and they... they Does it taste good? Yeah, they export. The, the best cheese in the area is called as a Chihuahua cheese. It's the name Chihuahua of that. cheese. Chihuahua cheese. Okay, mm -hmm. Chihuahua cheese. And they export cheese. They export to other countries. A lot of milk, cheese, cream, other things. Uh -huh. A lot of food they export. And also they raise animals, mainly cattle, because they need the cattle for the milk. Of course. To do all those things. Very hard worker people. Absolutely. Hard workers. Uh -huh. Everybody lo uh, like Mennonites because, because uh, they produce a lot of employees. Mm. They employ a lot of people, mainly from the Sierra, and special Taromara Indians, because they need a lot of workers because they don't have a huge fields. What they are mainly, what they grow mainly is corn, a straw, alfalfa, potatoes, beans. Mm -hmm. What they do grow mainly. Amazing. And they hire Taromara Indians as employees. Mm -hmm. So we're heading to the Campo Dos B. They don't name their colonies, they just put a Number. Number. Uh -huh. The only Campo A, Campo B, or those. Very interesting. عند أهل المنونايت الأماكن اللي يعيشون فيها لا زال يستخدم كلمة كامب. حتى بتشوفون كامب. بي تو كامب كذا معسكر كذا معسكر برقم ها برقم انتبهوا برقم وليس باسم يعني انت ممكن تقول معسكر الفلاني لكنك انت تعطيه رقم هني شويه فيها نوع من ال... كانك ما قاعد تعامل هذه المجموعه بالتساوي مع بقيه افراد المجتمع ولذلك عند اهل المنونايت يستخدمون الارقام طيب يا جماعه الخير انتم ليش قابلين؟ لان بكل بساطه المكسيكان البلد اللي المنونايت يو 
يعيشون فيه الان اهل المكسيك ما يقدرون يقولون بعض الحروف الالمانيه ولذلك مهما اطلقوا على مدنهم باللغه الالمانيه لن يستطيعوا اهل المكسيك مناداتهم بذلك او يكتبوا مثلا المدينه اللي ياتون منها ولذلك فضلوا ان تكون المعسكرات بالارقام كام بي 2 كام بي 1 وهكذا Hello. Hello. How are you, sir? I'm Ali. Tony. Buenas. طبيعة الحال وجودنا في منزل أحد أسر المينونايتس شيء كبير بحد ذاته عادة ما يقبل بالتصوير ما أريد أبالغ لو أقول لكم عادات متقالدة متشابهة جدا مع عاداتنا كعرب من ناحية الحياة أمام الكاميرا أتكلم هنا عن النساء لا يظهرون أمام الكاميرا عموما نحن راح نسعى أن نحصل على هذا اللقاء إن شاء الله لأن كل الأسر اللي من مجموعة المينونايتس ما يحبذون أنهم يظهرون أمام الكاميرا باختصار العائلة التي تأتي طبعا من المينونايتس لابد أن تمتلك إلى شيء يتعلق بالرعي بالمرعى بقر دجاج يرعون المهم أنهم لابد أنهم يرعون فهنا نجد أيضا رابط مشترك بين أبناء آدم وحواء أينما كانوا صحيح بينهم يعني أشكال مختلفة ألواننا مختلفة قد تكون أفكارنا مختلفة لكن في النهاية عدل ضروريات في الحياة وأساسيات لابد منها ما تتغير ما تتغير هذا المشهد الآن ممكن يكون موجود في أي بقعة حول العالم من السكان الأصليين فلا شو الفرق هؤلاء منونايتس نحن عرب هناك بدو في النهاية إلا ما يكون في رابط مشترك دعوة للجميع عندما مهما كنا مختلفين في روابط مشتركة تجمعنا السلام عليكم لا تحمس وايد <تصفيق> أوكي ها السلام عليكم السلام عليكم سبحان الله هادئين ويعني فيهم هدوء وثقة جميلة مثل يعني أصحابهم حتى البط سبحان الله مثل ما أنتم شايفين منتوف الريش لماذا؟ لملء الوسادة للنوم سبحان الله إذا استخداماتهم للموارد المحلية اللي عندهم هني شيء أساسي مو فقط للزينة وهذا الفرق ما بين بعض الشعوب الآن اللي تحتاج أن تتأمل في ذلك وتتعلم اليوم نحن وين من هذه اللمسات الجميلة بتعايشنا مع الطبيعة عموما بشكل عام أخواننا أخواتنا من أهل المينونايت هم فعلا يتعايشون بكل ما تحمله الكلمة من معنى من خلال الطبيعة اللي حولهم الموضوع داخل في بعض شوي فابغى منكم تركيز وابغى منكم شويه ها الله يخليكم لان ها هذا الدرب وهاي الحل الحلقه والحلقه الجايه يعني فيها يعني نحن رحنا لاتن امريكا امريكا الجنوبيه عشان نقابل ناس اصلهم من المانيا راحوا روسيا انتقلوا الى كندا فجاهم في المكسيك زين ليش وش السالفه وشو لغتهم وكيف راح نتخاطب معاهم <تصفيق> الله يستر لكن قادرين باذن الله
So about today, there are approximately about 90,000 Mennonites in Mexico. Wow. 50,000 state of Chihuahua. Nice. So when the Mennonites came, everybody was conservative, tradition, traditional as the was from Russia. And then big change was in 1980, when the electricity came in to the Mennonite camps. So that's when a lot of Mennonites decided to move on with technology, have electricity in their homes, have vehicles. That's actually when they started having vehicles. Till yeah. then they were driving the buggies. These two, which we're seeing here, they were used that till 1980s. In their own tradition, using uh, electricity before was not acceptable. Mm -hmm. Not accepted. And uh, there are even today, there are some communities in Mexico which, are, which decided to stay, stay apart. And, well, they're very cautious about this thing, so they even don't have electricity today. Still driving the buggies. Actually, then in 1980, so that all the Mennonites who went on, they're called more liberals. So there's about 20% more liberal and 80%. But between the liberal and between the, the tradition, do they have a communication or mm -hmm. they have yes, a little bit of an opinion about each other? No, they're, uh, they respect each other, mm -hmm. uh, no problem. Have you You guys speak also German or? Uh, I do some. Some. My boys haven't learned it, but. Uh, is it a problem they didn't? Or no. See, we're not quite the mainstream Mennonites like you find over in the villages. Uh, I see. I see. Um, we're also a, a stripe of Mennonites, but it's more like you'd find in the eastern United States and so on. Of course, of course. They all speak German over here, and here, right here, only a few of us do. Okay. Spanish. Spanish. Also. Yeah. You don't speak it. Yeah, you we speak. You Spanish. speak it also. Lovely, lovely. English is the easiest for us, but yeah. You know, you know what would be like something that I really now dream of to to be to find, to find a Mennonite who speaks Arabic. There you go. <laughs> that would be. <laughs> so maybe I could accomplish it here. I'll teach each of the gentlemen here one 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 Arabic word, and then if anybody comes after us, you say yes. Salam alaikum. You know, we say salam alaikum means hello. Have you ever heard it? No. <laughs> salam, salam alaikum, which means peace on you. Peace be upon you. Salam alaikum. Try it. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Alaikum. Am I the first Arab you ever met? I've seen him, I haven't really met him. Ah, okay, yet. okay. أول عربي يقابله الآخر. فا أكثر من شخص ويعني مجموعة قابلناهم هناك. أقول لهم أنا من المكان الفلاني وعلى فكرة أنا عندما أقول أن أنا من المكان الفلاني ثقوا تماما بأن أنا أشرح لهم عن العالم العربي وإحنا كيف في أفريقيا وفي آسيا وطبعا أكيد أقول لهم طب أنا من بلد الحبيب الإمارات وأن هاي منطقة خليج وهاي منطقة بلاد الشام وهنا شمال أفريقيا أشعر بشعور رائع وجميل جدا نصيحة للجميع أن يكون عندهم أبليكيشن إذا ما كان عندكم واي فاي خذوا أبليكيشن آخر يطلع لك الخرائط يعني مع شوي مجموعة من الصور عن بلدك الجميل حتى تتعرف مع الآخرين وتراويهم بلدك والزي الخاص بك وغيره وغيره So the daily routine, you guys wake up and what the main thing? You have produce cheese or you have like an agenda of things that you have, you have to accomplish? Every day. Yeah, we get up and milk cows and make cheese and we irrigate the field. Very nice. Those are sort of our main jobs. And and do you guys sell this to the government or to the people or whom do you sell your... To, yeah, to people that come and we take some to the stores. 
Beautiful. When I show you something like this, you know, picture, mm -hmm. you know, she has that mask on and she got the, the cover and she's very conservative. You, you see that feeling you feel right now? It's the same feeling I feel when I, when I see the Mennonite family. Uh -huh. um, I've never been as close. This is like the closest right now that we've been, been with, the, you know, our brothers and sisters from, from the Mennonite family. <laughs> والله نحن جدا فخورين ان قدرنا ان نكون بالقرب من ابناء اخواننا واخواتنا من اهل المنونايت لان من النادر ومن الصعب جدا ان يفتحون قلبهم وعقلهم ومنازلهم بهذه الطريقه والله العظيم ليست مبالغه واتمنى من الجميع ان يسعى الى ذلك وستجدون بعض التحديات لكن مع الابتسامه ومع اخلاص النيه في هذا التعارف سبحان الله الانسان للانسان الانسان للانسان The word men Mennonites, are we saying it the right way or? Uh, Mennonites. 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 Yes, we're, because the Mennonite word came up followers of Menno Simons. Menno Simons, yes, okay. Yes, he was a, a, from the Catholic Church, he was a priest from, and he separated from the ch church, okay. uh, from Catholic Church, and then all his followers were called the Mennonites. So that's actually where the Mennonites oh, I see. are come from. And, uh, and they're called the Anabaptist. Anabaptist. The separate, separating was because of the baptism was one reason. Okay. Uh, because the Catholic Church is doing the infant baptism. Yes. And then Menno Simons, he, he started to study the Bible and he found out that uh, it's not the way baptism should be. So it should be of the base of faith. So you, you shall be knowing what you're doing. So that's when they started to practicing the baptism of the base of faith. So that's why they were called the Anabaptists, because baptist, baptizing again. So, yes, and yes, then yes. in time they still come. Well, today they, they're about Anabaptists are four groups. The okay. Mennonites are one of them, the Amish, Amish. and the, the Brethren, Brethren Christ, and the Heatherites. So those are the four groups of Anabaptists. Beginning, they were all together, and then time, to time, uh, they were separating because of different things. Yes. For example, you probably have heard that Amish are practicing the shunning. Yes, yes. So if you're disobeying the church, you're shunned, or executed from the church. So, and the Mennonites don't practice that. So um, that's what it makes they each to sector that, differently. To separate from them. What we see is jumping back to 1980s. How was it living then? So we, here we see that the conservatives have the, they do have their own education. Yes. All their education is in high German. The actual language we use at home, that's a Plattdeutsch. The dialect of Holland and Flemish. Okay. So that's the Plattdeutsch. Plattdeutsch. High German for education, church service, literature. Then English and Spanish. So children are attending school from 5 to 14. Then after, afterwards, helping their father or mother at home. And for them, there's no need knowing English or Spanish because at home, don't practice. They are not practicing, mm. only the Plotaj. So the dialect, so no need for them to Amazing. know other languages. Okay, here we see the area of toys. In this case, toys are made at home. By, by parents or by, by children. And uh, as they, and again, another thing, as they were having a lot of children and wasting so much money for Christmas, so they came up with idea. Mm -hmm. In month of October till December, they were taking away all the toys from the children without noticing them <laughs> to recycle them, to renew them. And then on Christmas day, they're giving them the same toys, but recycled. Amazing, amazing. Decoration of the wall, the calendars, and the clocks, uh, because they saw a bad thing to have photos, especially photos in the in the house. So they found a good use for the calendars and clocks. That's why the decoration. So no no pictures. No pictures. When it comes to family, when it comes to women, um, and when it comes, so does the woman consider to you something very private that nobody should see, nobody should be touching, and is that something in the Mennonite uh, uh, life? 
Well, we believe very, very strongly in in marriage for life. One man, one woman. Beautiful. Uh, but inside marriage, it's pure and it's right. But others out of marriage, it's sinful. Uh -huh. Talking about women. The way the world lives, women on the billboards, women everywhere, that's not pleasing to God. Oh my God. <laughs> so that, yeah, that's what we believe. We believe that's what the Bible teaches. Beautiful. That's one thing we like about Muslim cultures. Mm. <clears throat> But you know, God looks for something more than just a good dress. He's looking for a good heart. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Looking for a good heart. And some some people think that our our wives, our women are are uh, suppressed. True. And not happy. True. But uh, you know, our women are the happiest ladies on earth <laughs> because they found their place in God's order. Absolutely. And then they're just really happy people. You have no idea how much this uh, makes a ring in my ear because uh, we feel the same. We believe in God's order that He has told us in the Bible, that the man is to be the head of the wife. Wife. But that doesn't mean that we think that the wife is in a lower position. Amazing. It's a different place. And, and uh, we listen to our wives a lot when we need to make decisions. You know, what shall we do, honey? You know, again, we discuss it together. It's beautiful. And, uh, you gotta listen yeah. to the mother talk as well and her blessings. Without the mother blessings, uh, things are not good. Uh -huh. We always have to respect our mothers. Uh -huh. It's fascinating, it's really beautiful. Do you accept a stranger? To, to mingle in, in a Mennonite uh, life, or it's not acceptable? We do. Mm -hmm. You do? Yeah. Some of the Mennonites over here in the villa, in the other valley, they, they don't very easily. So we have, we have, You're welcome, if you want to come. Oh, so kind of you. Thank you. I'll come work. I'm a farmer. I can... You got, you're a farmer. I don't think I'm... Uh, we don't farm apple. <laughs> we, don't, we don't farm like this. Or, or hay. We got dates. I can do vegetables. What else I can do? Can take uh, yeah things like that you know uh, things related to the desert area. Have you uh, read, read one of these bicycles when you were young? Yeah. You did. So that was allowed in the Mennonites' life. Yeah, we we are in that sense. Our separation from the rest of the world is where we think it's against God's word. Pure. Um, but yeah, we drive vehicles and whatever. Yeah. <laughs> For example, we don't have TV in the house. You don't have a TV. The reason is, of all the evil influences that come through the TV. Absolutely. But we have a computer. You have a computer. Um, because you can control yes. what you have on your computer. Absolutely. And so, Absolutely. internet, we block it. Because for the same reason we don't have TV, you see. You see what I'm saying? Yes, absolutely. So that's the kind of places where we... But you guys really man separate. manage that. You guys still have that. Mm -hmm. Wow, amazing. Amazing. Yeah. God's grace. If you talk with the team and the work, they say that this is a mistake. They are not going to be able to do this. They are not going to be able to do this. They are not going to be able to do this. They are not going to be able to do this. They are not going to be able to do this. They are not going to be able to do this. They are not going to be able to do this. They are not going to be able to do this. They are not going to be able to do this. They are not going to be ترى هناك أيضا ضريبة على ذلك الانطوائية عدم معرفة ما هو موجود حول العالم عدم التعرف على ثقافات وشعوب جعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا إذن هناك بعض الشعوب التي تمارس ثقافة معينة عادات وتقاليد معينة نقدر ذلك وهو شيء جميل مبادئهم نحترمها ولكن بعد في نفس الوقت لا نقول بأن ذلك إذا كان بهذه الطريقة يعني يا يسار يا يمين مرة لا في النص حاول أن تستفيد بما أتاحتها عقولنا اللي الله سبحانه وتعالى أمن علينا بهذه العقول حتى نصنع إشياء ونفكر ونتفكر ونتأمل فكانت هذه رسالة طبعا وصلناها لهم نأمل بأن يكون في تواصل أكثر مع إخواننا من أهل المنونايد
الأوطن ينادي للدنا لسنا عادي لمن هناك ومن هنا في داخلي صوت ينادي للدنا لسنا عادي لمن هناك ومن هنا قد تختلف ألواننا أدياننا أوطاننا والألسنا لكننا أبناء آب واحد والأم أيضا واحدة مهما تفارقنا الدروب ودروبنا متباعدة سنعود للبيت القديم سنعود للحضن القديم سنعود للبيت القديم سنعود للحضن القديم تحط فيه رحالنا أنت أخي أو شيء تقول أنت أنا مع السلامه